Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Across the Ocean. I'm James in Miami. And this is Matthias, straight from Zurich. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Across the Ocean, your transatlantic show for lovers of underwater image making. Uh, Matthias and I get together and bring you this show on a monthly basis that's co-hosted across my channel, Divers Ready, and the Matthias Labo channel on YouTube. And uh, it's great to see you as always, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing great. I've been having a really good couple of uh, months here towards the end of the year and uh, yeah, kind of looking forward to the festive season that is just in front of our doorstep, really. What about you? What's happening over there in Miami? Oh, the year has just flown by. I can't believe we're in November already. It's absolutely out of control. Um, we did think that we would bring you uh, the gift guide a little bit earlier this year based on some comments we got last year that we kind of put the gift guide out way too soon to the, the festive season and also particularly here in the States to take advantage of like Cyber Monday and Black Friday and all those kind of you know gift buying sales. We did figure that we would do our gift guide a little bit earlier in the festive season, uh, hence why we're bringing this episode to you today. But no, everything here is absolutely fine and under control. Um, I think you've got three items on your suggested gift list for uh, our viewers. Why don't you kick it off, Matthias? I sure do, and I'd be happy to kick it off. Thank you very much. James, I thought about this for quite some time and I've come up with three things that I really think are going to be very, very, very beneficial to everyone uh, who wants to, well, who films underwater and to your loved ones who are into filming, capturing their underwater adventures. The first one is an item that I personally discovered earlier this year and that I've used a lot during this year. It is the uh, Dive Fork C-Touch 4 Max underwater smartphone housing. This is the very first and only, to my knowledge, at this stage housing that has a membrane at the back allowing you to use the um, touch screen of your smartphone. And it's not, um, it's not specific to a singular um, to a single smartphone model, but you can use it across most uh, modern smartphone models that are out on the market nowadays. Uh, I've tested it, used it for about, I don't know, 50, 60 dives, and I'm extremely happy with, it, with this, giving you the option of taking the really good cameras that modern smartphones have underwater with you on the dive and using it to capture your underwater adventures having all your footage all your photos everything right there in your camera roll right after the dive and you can then share it wildly across all your social media platforms very very easily so that's my first um gift suggestion there the second one is a little smaller it's this thing here it is called the Keldon color checker and it is a combination of a gray card and a color checker specifically made by the well-known um, underwater video light company Keldon, um, specifically made for the use underwater. So you can use the gray card for your white balancing needs underwater. And what I have started using quite regularly in recent times is this this colorful color checker side here, just holding that in front of my uh, camera lens before I start the recording gives me a very good reference as to how I can color correct my images to get the appropriate colors and to get the colors how they naturally should be looking in the end. So that's something that I can suggest as well. And last but not least, and this is probably the tip or the gift that I would uh, put on top of my list, it is giving the gift of dive travel. And what would be better than joining James and myself on our upcoming group trip and workshop trip to the Philippines in November next year. So just about a year away from now, you could be joining us on our amazing trip to the Philippines and just spending a week of fun, enjoyment, um, education um, and just being surrounded by great people diving one of the probably best places in the world. We still have, correct me if I'm wrong James, a couple of spots left on that trip. Four I think, Four at time of recording. Left. So it's not many, 
if you want to be one of the lucky uh the last lucky ones to join us on this trip you'd be better better be fast and send either james or myself a email um saying that you would like to join us on this trip and uh maybe with your loved um buddy so you can give that as a Christmas gift to them this year. So those are my three recommendations um, or my three gift ideas. I'm curious to hear your gift ideas now, James. Super smooth plug there, Matthias, well done. Yes, Philippines next year. Super looking forward to co-hosting that trip with you. It's gonna be an absolute blinder. And and nice selections on the other one too. I think that Kelden color corrector is a great stocking stuffer. And for people starting out that wanna take their smartphones and utilize these fantastic cameras, uh, that housing sounds like a great option. Um, definitely probably preferential to those hard case housings that work with Bluetooth where you can't really change the settings underwater because you don't have access to the uh, to the touch screen. So really, really happy to hear those options. Um, I've got a few things. I, I, I've got to be honest with you, I've been trying not to spend too much money this year. Uh, that's kind of been the theme of this year because I went crazy last year. Um, so I've been, I've been dialing it back uh, quite a bit. So I've got a few options here that are on the lower end and uh, and more sort of on the stocking stuffer style. Um, we'll start with, uh, we all know Jill Heineth, fantastic diver, fantastic underwater filmmaker. Uh, she has a whole series of books called Jill's Guides and I just recently picked up her uh, episode in that series on underwater video. Uh, this is a really great primer. It's probably a little bit below where I'm at and therefore definitely below where you're at in your filming, Matthias, in terms of knowledge. But if somebody is just getting interested or just getting started, this is a great reference point because one of the questions I'm sure you get asked all the time as well, Matthias, is what settings do I use? What f-stop should I use? What aperture, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, this really breaks it down in very, very simple English. Um, so it's just a great, it's a thin little book, great stocking stuffer. If you're starting out with underwater video, highly recommend having a thumb through that. Um, so that's my first option there. The Scuba Diver's Guide to Underwater Video by Jill Heineth. Um, I did get some upgraded lights this year from Backscatter. They, I know you have a set as well, Matthias, that you've been playing around with, but the Backscatter Macro Wide 4300. Um, I've had a lot of fun with these lights. They're a great option for travel because they are quite small and compact, but they pack a punch. You've got a macro mode, you've got a wide angle mode, which is majority of what I use for shooting. Um, you've also got strobe, red, beacon, a whole bunch of different um, facilities and options packed into quite a small compact uh, little body here. Um, the quality of the light I really enjoy. Um, you can get a whole bunch of accessories that Backscatter makes, including a snoot. Uh, you can get different kinds of filters and dispersions and colors even. Um, so just a great option if you're looking to pair something with perhaps a smaller camera, a smaller sensor, and you need to add a bit of light to your shots. And again, not terrifically expensive. And then my last option uh, for a gift is the new GoPro Hero 11. So now we're up to 5.3K at 60 frames per second. Uh, we're at 2.7K for 240 frames per second, which is absolute insanity. Um, and just, just a new upgraded larger sensor. I bought this just before our recent trip to Bonaire. I put a bunch of uh, test footage up on our channel, which I'll link above there if you want to check it out. Just raw, unedited, uncolor graded, straight out of camera. Um, it looks pretty damn good. So um, highly recommended. Again, the amount of technology that they can pack into such a tiny camera still astounds me. Um, and yeah, just been a big fan of GoPro as an entry level camera. And the really good news is the 11 fits the same dive housing as the 10 and the nine before it. So if you have a nine or a 10, you don't need to buy a new housing. And it comes with the new Enduro batteries, which last about twice as long. So I got one camera, one light set, and one book in my, uh, my holiday gift guide for this year for lovers of underwater image making. What do you think about that, Matthias? Not too bad at all. I'm really curious to see the footage from the GoPro 11, personally. I haven't got it in my hands yet, but... Jakob, it's verschwind. Danke. We'll have to make a cut there, sorry. I just got my iPhone. I think we should do a live unboxing. Should we? Yeah, I'm not gonna do a cut there. Do it. Okay, so sorry for the little disturption, the disturb. 
disturbance there guys uh but i just did receive my iphone 14 uh max pro max whatever it's called let's open that thing up and see what's inside here i'm making uh, materials do a live my unboxing mate <laughs> just tricked me and there's nothing in here oh look at that it is the new iphone Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. so shall we open it up i want to know if it fits in the housing it will fit in the housing yeah i've got different the different uh, inlet which the iPhone will fit in and then fit the housing perfectly. I've checked that with the manufacturer of the housing prior to ordering the iPhone. So yes, it will. That was one of the most important things for me. Oh, look that. So I, I have a iPad mini that I use as a Kindle that sits on my bedside, never leaves my bedside. It's what I read on the majority of the time. And I'm pretty sure that the iPhone 14 Max is about the same size as a iPad mini. <laughs> close, very close, oh, look at that. Oh, it's huge. It is beautiful. Oh, they just pack it so nicely. And you went with blue? No, it's like the, the graphite black, whatever. Oh, nice. I don't know, it was just like the first one in the line. I'm not too fast about colors. It's gonna be in a, in a protection case anyway, so. Look at that. I'm very happy, can you tell? Hopefully getting in the water with it soon, trying the new housing or trying the new phone in the old housing. Very cool. Be prepared to get some review videos of the iPhone being used underwater in combination with the dive fork C-Touch for Max housing. I can't wait to try that on. Oh, well, that's awesome. So, Matthias, happy uh, festive season to you and your family. Anything else to add? Likewise, likewise, James. Thank you very much. Yes, one last thing before we forget. Obviously, all the um, links to all the products, all the gifts that we talked about in today's episode, they will be linked down in the video description below. So go and check them out if anything of the things seems interesting to you. What I want to mention particularly is the um, dive fork housing. That link will actually give you an extra 6% discount offered by the manufacturer. So by using that link, you're just going to benefit a little extra and you might spare some money to get some more Christmas gifts for your uh, favorite dive buddies there. That's it, James. I think we pretty much uh, got this video to an end. That's it. So uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of my American friends, everyone watching this on this side of the Atlantic. And uh, yeah, whatever you're doing this festive season, I hope you're safe and you're doing it with loved ones. Um, we'll see you in the next episode next month where we're going to be taking a look ahead to all that we're excited for for 2023. And that'll be our last across the ocean for 2022. I can't believe how these years are rolling by, uh, but it's absolutely amazing journey that we're on. And I couldn't be happier than to be sharing it with my good buddy, Matthias. So until next time, my name's James in Miami. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.